Hi, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about the uh, RANSAC algorithm. And uh, in the first part, I will go through the algorithm. And in the second part, I will uh, uh, show you uh, how to choose the enough number of samples uh, such that with a good probability, you have at least one in layer in your data. Uh, the code uh, for this algorithm is available on my website. You can uh, have a look on that later. The code is in MATLAB. And uh, okay, let us start. Uh, so uh, in RANSAC algorithm uh, for a given number of uh, iteration, we uh, randomly select a subset of data, uh, which I denoted by S. So for instance, if we try to fit uh, uh, if you have a set of points and we want to uh, fit a line, then you know that uh, you need two points. If you have a, if you're interested to find a uh, affine transformation, you need uh, three uh, pairs of points. If it's a homography, it's four. So it's totally dependent on the problem that you're solving. Uh, okay, uh, after selecting randomly uh, your data, you will uh, you have to uh, fit the model f uh, for the data. So if, as I said, if it's a line, then uh, try to find the uh, tangent and then uh, this uh, M and B. If it's a, a fine transform, you have to find the translation and rotation. And this is something that, uh, again, depends on the problem that you're solving. So in my case, I solve it for uh, finding a fine transformation. Uh, then uh, you will test all of your data against this model. And you check if uh, there are in layers or not. How? Uh, in, well, in this algorithm, you have to specify a threshold that uh, if the data is, if the given data is, uh, the, the distance between the given data and the model is less than is, is less than the threshold, then it's an uh, in-layer. For instance, if you have a line and you have a set of points, then you have to compute the distance between points and the line to see if they're less than a given threshold, then you could say uh, it's a fit. Or if it's a fine transform, you will apply the uh, uh, apply uh, you will apply the fine transform to your uh, data and you get the uh, projected data, then you compute the distance between what you got and what you had in your pair. And if it's less than that, uh, for instance, if it's less than I don't know, one or two pixels, then you say, okay, it's a valid data, it's in layer. Okay, then uh, if the new model is better than the uh, best model that we had so far, b based on the number of in layers, if uh, the number of in layers is more, then the best model, we will replace the uh, best model with the new model. Otherwise, we just uh, continue. Uh, okay, now in this part, uh, I'm going to explain uh, how can we choose an n number of samples such that uh, with a good chance, with a good probability, we have at least one in layer in our data. So n is an n is a number of samples that we're looking for. E is a probability that a point is an outlayer. S is a number of point in a sample. Um, as I said, if for you try to fit a line, S is two. If it's a if you're looking for affine transform, it's three, homography is four. This is totally dependent on the problem that you're solving. And the P, as I said, is a desired probability that uh, we have a good sample. We usually pick, a, we, we try to f uh, find such an N, such that with the probability of 99%, we have at least one in layer in our data. Okay, uh, let me just uh, write down how do we... How did it came? Uh, where does come term come from? Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, e 
is a probability that uh, the point is an outlier. Okay, so one minus e is a probability that a point is in layer, is a complement probability. Since we have to choose s point to, to build up our model, uh, and uh, we know that the data or our data is uh, uh, our data points are independent of each other, so the joint probability gonna be the uh, uh, multiplication of them. So I have to repeat it uh, s times, so it's gonna be power s. So this is the probability that we choose s point and uh, they are not out there all of them are in layer the probability of choosing s point and all of them are in layer what is the complement probability for that one minus this uh, what is the meaning this was uh, choosing s point that all of them are in layer the complement probability is choosing s point and uh, not all of them are in layer. That means at least there is one or maybe more out layer in our data. Okay, and how many sample we are uh, choosing? N. Okay, so uh, this is a problem, and again, uh, it's a joint probability. So, uh, uh, and since our data, the assumption is uh, our data is. Uh, Independent, our point in our data set is independent of each other, so the joint probability is just uh, well, P of A and B equal uh, P A multiplied by P B. And if we write it down S time, it's going to be power S. Okay, so uh, uh, what I just said, this term means uh, the probability that we choose N samples and they are contaminated. There is outlayers in our data. Uh, what is the complement for this probability? The probability that we have chosen n samples and not all of them are contaminated. That means there is at least one in layer in our data. This is a p that we are looking for. So the rest of the formula is easy. You just have to take the logarithm from the both, uh, move the add one to this side, take the logarithm a couple of times, and then uh, uh, you will get this formula. But the intuition behind that, we looking for uh, n such that with a good probability, like 99%, there is at least one in layer in our data set. Okay, thanks for your attention and have a good day.